Hi everybody, it's Crafting Just Because with Chris Cowan, and today we're playing with the December Paper Pumpkin Kit. These kits are so wonderful. If you do not get them, you're missing out because it comes with enough supplies to make, um, sorry, ooh, I drew a blank there, to make 12 cards. It comes with the envelopes. There's tons of product left over. You also get a stamp and dot um, that you can use at a later time, and you get a stamp set. And this month's stamp set, it's truly, 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 truly amazing. I mean, we have love you lots, thank you, good luck, Mr. and Mrs., congratulations, happy birthday, let's celebrate, feel better soon, so very sorry, just because it's your day, hey friend, and you're the best. This is a stamp, it also comes with these three flowers. This is a stamp set I think I will keep. I love um, the lettering and I love having the variety of stamp sets. But as you can see, these are all the leftover pieces I have left in this kit. I even have some envelopes. But today I wanted to bring you an alternate project. And so the alternate project is this cute little candy holder and I just put thank you on it. And the only other thing that I added to this project was this baker's twine. This is actually a card um, back that we use and are punching out of. Oh, and then I guess I used a punch, but the rest of it is all from the kit. And if you've been following me all week, you have seen that we, um, I've made a few alternative projects. Um, I did um, case one from Rachel Tessman just because it was stinking adorable and I wanted to learn how to make it. So if you do not already follow me, get on my blog, which you'll see in the description below, and um, follow me and we'll have fun crafting together. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. What you're going to need is one envelope. I have some leftover foil pieces and some of the stickers. This is um, one of the card backs. We're going to be using that. And then I'm also using a label. And then I have some candy here that we're going to fill it with. Okay. So first, you're going to want to take this envelope and you're going to want to take your paper trimmer. And what you're going to do is you're going to trim off that um, flap. So just like this, okay? Next, what you wanna do is on the three sides that are shut, this is the open side, you want to score it at seven eighths of an inch. So I'm gonna score it, turn it, score it. and score it, okay? Now before we put the paper trimmer away, we want to cut um, the little bit of flap off and we're gonna measure this out to be four inches long. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that flap off and then I'm gonna line this up at the four inch mark and I'm gonna cut that flap off, okay? So you're left with this little piece. You can now put your paper trimmer away because it's not going to be needed for any other pieces. You can use these um, or save these and use them for another project if you wanted to. I'm going to just toss mine. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come in with your bone folder and you're going to want to score it or burnish those score lines both directions. Okay, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open your envelope and you're going to press these corners in and form like a point. So just like that. 
and then you're gonna glue those down. So I'm just gonna use, you can use tear and tape. I'm gonna use my liquid multi-purpose glue because I wanna make sure I get all every inch of that covered in glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that tab down and then I'm just gonna run my bone folder from the inside make sure that's nice and glued down and then I'm gonna do the same thing on this tab I'm gonna just put glue all over the whole tab just like that flip it over and then I'm gonna now if you wanted you could leave your bag just like this you know fill it with maybe some shreddy paper and um, and kind of you're good to go. But what we're going to do is we're going to cut this off so that it matches the back side. So I'm just going to take my scissors and just trace, you know, cut that back side off just like that. Okay. Now you can glue your flap back on. So I added multi-purpose glue all over that flap. That's why I like multi-purpose glue is you can kind of lift it off if you get it a little crooked. And then I'm gonna turn it over and run my bone folder over that. Make sure it's nice and glued down. Okay, then I'm gonna take a ruler and I'm going to measure in one inch on both sides. So I'm gonna come down about a quarter of an inch. I'm gonna measure one inch and one inch. So it's one and three. And then I'm gonna come in with my hole punch and put putting the sides together like that, I'm gonna punch the smallest hole here. Just like that. And then I'm gonna fill it with my candy. So these would be cute little table um, favors to have on a table for like a little party or whatever. Then I'm gonna come in with my baker's twine and I'm just gonna thread that in those holes. Okay, now I'm gonna press it sealed. And I am gonna knot it. And then I'm just gonna tie a bow. like that and I put it like down like that now I'm gonna take that leftover um, card back and I'm gonna punch it out with my label just like that and then I'm going to come in and I'm going to add this gold embellishment. So actually, let me, before we get started, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Right on. 
one down in the center there. Now I'm going to come in with that gold embellishment. I'm going to make sure all the little cutouts are taken out because sometimes those come up. Okay, and then I'm going to layer that on right on down into the center. And next I'm going to take my um, label and I'm going to punch thank you on it using terracotta tile ink. That's the color that it came with this month. So let's see here, there's my thank you. Stamp that right in the center, just like that. Let me clean this off. Sorry, I rattled the camera there. Okay. Next, I'm going to add some dimensionals. to place this right on down into the center and then I'm going to take some of these flower stickers and I'm just going to add one on each end and then I'm going to come in with those rhinestones love the color the champagne color and I'm going to put one in each of the centers of the flower Just like that. So there are your finished little treat bags made out of an envelope. I thank you guys for joining me today. Um, like I mentioned in the description below, you will see where you can shop with me to get all the supplies to make these. Um, and you'll also see a link to my blog. I hope to see you soon and I will be crafting with you again next week. Bye-bye.